Hi, in this video, I just wanted to quickly show you how to use spell check in PowerPoint. I'm in the online version, um, which sometimes the web version and the online version, there are some different features. So I had a, okay, so if I'm in this slide and I see this red squiggly line under the word, there's a decent chance it actually is misspelled. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to kind of hover over the word, right click, go to spelling now i have to choose the correct word okay so now sentence is spelled correctly okay and sometimes on names you will get that red line um and you can always do that right click and then you can ignore that if that's like if you're writing a paper on somebody and it keeps um basically giving you that and you don't want it you can ignore that so if you're getting okay so if you're not sure what the word is okay so i'm writing right clicking over this okay it does tell me word but if i don't know i can always go up to google and type in you know the word and again that's not really a commonly misspelled word but you know, it's going to give you suggestions of what it might be. Now, if you get the blue line, that's the grammar check. Okay, so this is a homophone, so R, that should be R. Okay, so if, if it there is a line under it, I would definitely check it. And if I'm not sure, I would go up to Google and type the word in. You know, there's a lot of multiple meaning words. Uh, maybe you're using the wrong homophone. You know, maybe... It's, if it's a proper noun, it might not be in the dictionary, okay? So when I do all of this, you can also go up to review and then check the slide. Okay, and there's settings you can click. Okay, and these are, I have mine on the default. Okay, but there's a lot of things they're checking. Okay, but you can play around with those if you need to. I would not recommend that. And then also you have this editor over here that can check words. So that's just in a, in a nutshell. If you see a red line under it, right click, choose the correct word. If you're not sure, go to Google and find that word. If you don't know, you know, let, um, ask somebody and that might help. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.